All right, I'm one classes. Today we're starting a new unit all about linear equations. Uh, starting off, we're going to just solve some linear equations for y. So we're all about solving equations for y. Uh, so our first example, 4x plus y is equal to 7. We are solving this equation for y. We want to isolate y on the left side of the equation. So just like any other thing, I'm going to put in a line of separation. Um, and then I'm going to uh, just isolate y on this side. I want y by itself. So I'm going to eliminate this 4x that's on the same side as the y. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. All right? Over here, the 4x minus 4x cancels out. So that's gone. So all you're left with is y on the left side. 7 minus 4x, those aren't like terms. You can't combine them or anything, so you just leave it as 7 minus 4x. This is a perfectly acceptable answer. 7 minus 4x is just fine. Uh, however, I'm going to be writing it uh, like this, where I'm going to put the x first. So it's a negative 4x, so it's going to be minus 4x plus 7. The 7 is positive. The reason why I'm doing this is we're going to be working with a lot of equations in this form, where it's the x comes first plus or minus the number. Um, but on a test or quiz or your assignment today, this is fine. This will be an acceptable answer. Uh, but this is how we want to get used to seeing equations with the 4x first, with the negative 4x first. One thing I want to point out, um, it's not 4x minus 7 because it's the 4x that is negative. All right, so the negative stays with the 4x. The 7 is positive. That's why it's plus 7 here. All right. So let's look at another example. Negative 2x plus y is equal to negative 9. So again, I'm going to put in a line of separation. Uh, I'm going to eliminate everything over here. I'm going to add 2x to both sides to get the y by itself. So it's going to be negative 2x plus 2x cancels out. You get y is equal to, I'm going to put the positive 2x first, minus 9, negative 9, and there it is. That is the final answer. So just eliminate what's ever next to the y on the same side as the y. So there are times when the y might have a coefficient. So here, take a look at this one. First thing I'm going to do is include a line of separation. Uh, now I can eliminate everything next to the y. So the first thing I'm going to eliminate is this 4x. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. 4x minus 4x cancels out. And I get 2y is equal to uh, 10 minus 4x or negative 4x plus 10. I'm going to put the four, negative 4x first. Last thing I need to do is eliminate the two next to the y. So I'm going to divide. When I divide everything, so you're dividing the whole side by two. And it's easier just to think about instead of dividing the whole side, just divide everything on the side. You can split that up in a couple uh, different divisions here. So you divide everything by two. So the times two divided by two cancels out. Y is equal to negative. 4 divided by 2 is negative 2x plus 10 divided by 2 is 5. And we're done. So uh, another example with that, um, if the y has a negative coefficient, so what I'm going to do is put in the line of separation. I'm going to eliminate everything on the same side as the y, starting with the 6x. So I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. Plus 6x minus 6x cancels out. So I get negative 3y is equal to, I'm going to put the negative 6x first. So it's going to be negative 6x plus 12. And then last thing I need to do is solve for or eliminate the negative 3. So I'm going to divide everything by negative 3. So 
the times negative three divided by negative three cancels out. So all you're left with is y on this side. Negative six divided by negative three. So just be careful with this. This is a negative six divided by a negative three. That comes out to a positive two x and then 12 divided by negative three um comes out to 12 divided by negative three is negative four and then what you need to remember is when it's plus a negative four that's the same thing as minus four so i'm going to change this plus a negative to minus four and then that is done all right so uh next type of problem the y has a coefficient again, but not everything is gonna work out nicely to a whole number. So I'm gonna solve this the same way. I'm gonna start off with uh, eliminating the three x. I'm gonna subtract three x from both sides. So six minus three x, we're getting ahead of myself before I get there. Three uh, x minus three x cancels out. And then two y, is equal to six minus three x is just six minus three x. I'm gonna write it in the other order where it's just negative three x plus six. And then to eliminate the two, I'm going to divide everything by, not negative two, excuse me. Just divide everything by two. So times two divided by two cancels out. So you have y is equal to Negative three over two. We're gonna leave that as a fraction. If it, the fraction reduces, reduce the fraction. If not, just leave it as a fraction. Negative three over two X plus six over two is three. And that's it. All right. So um, here's a good one. Just one last one. And then we're gonna look at a different type of problem. Um, so I need to eliminate the X first to get Y by itself. So I'm going to subtract Y from both sides. So, or excuse me, subtract X from both sides. So positive X, negative X, and so you get negative five Y is equal to negative X minus 10. And then I'm going to divide everything by negative five. So negative five divided by negative five cancels out. I get y is equal to. So this one here, it's negative x. There's like a one in front of it. So it's negative one x. Careful with the negative. So this is a negative one divided by a negative five. That becomes positive. A negative divided by a negative is a positive one over five. Just leave it as a fraction if it doesn't reduce or divide out evenly. And then again, be careful with this one, this negative 10, that is, that negative belongs to the 10. So it's negative 10 divided by negative five. Negative divided by negative is a positive, 10 divided by five is two. So be careful with those negatives. All right, last type of problem we're gonna have is uh, something that looks a little bit different. So y minus five is equal to three x plus two. Same thing, we want to get y by itself. All it is is adding five to both sides, but we need to simplify the right side of the equation before we add five. So first thing I'm going to do is distribute the three x. So three times x is three x, plus three times two is six. So you get y minus five is equal to three x plus six. Now, to solve for y, I'm going to add five to both sides. Make sure you add five to its like term on the other side. So negative five plus five cancels out and you get y is equal to three x plus 11. So just distribute and then add, um, just be, make sure you're adding to the like term on the right side of the equation and be careful with the distributing. So one last example, I'm gonna put in my line of separation. Be careful with the negatives here. A lot of negatives going on here. So when I distribute, my first uh, step is distribute. Make sure you distribute a negative two. So it's going to be negative two x 
for here, I'm gonna do the whole thing. Negative two times X, and then it's a negative, or bring down that negative, and then it's negative two times one. So just a reminder of where all these negatives are coming from. So I distributed the negative two, so it gets multiplied to each uh, term in the parentheses, and then we have the negative, the negative coming in from there. So it's y minus seven equals negative two times x minus negative two times one. So negative two times x is negative two x minus negative two times one is negative two. So still gonna simplify one more step. Remember minus a negative. Minus a negative is the same thing as addition. So minus a negative is plus. I'm gonna change this minus a negative to plus two. And then I can solve for y by adding seven to both sides. So I get uh, plus seven minus seven, or yeah, minus seven plus seven cancels out. You get y is equal to negative two x plus nine. And we are done. Your assignment today is on edge elastic. So make sure you get into the classwork page on Google Classroom uh, to complete your assignment. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you email me. Other than that, we'll see you guys next time.